blocks prevent tracks from coming through into a queue. Let's take a look at how they work. So in the previous example, when we modified channel eight in Q1, it tracked all the way through all of our queues, including Q7, which is our blackout. So we can use a tool called a block, which will prohibit any changes from coming into a queue that has a block flag on it. So let's look at an example with our blackout. I'm gonna go ahead and say Q7 block, which is a hard key on our keypad, enter. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that channels eight and nine, which we're tracking through that queue, are now white. Also, if you look at your playback status display, you'll see Q7 has a capital B in the flags category. And that tells you that there is a block on that queue. Now if I add a channel to an upstream queue, it's not going to go through that block. So let's go to Q1, enter. And we're gonna go ahead and say 10 at 80%. Enter. And you'll notice that'll track all the way through just like before, but instead when it hits Q7, it gets put back to zero. Another thing that can protect data is an auto block. And that will protect a move instruction when a level upstream of it matches the value. So let's look at an example of that. With Q1 still highlighted, we're gonna go ahead and say channel four at 80%, which will match the value in Q2. What happens when I hit enter is that the value is added to Q1, and in Q2, I get a white value of 80 with an underline. And this is just letting me know that I have redundant instructions that are the same value. And if you look in the playback status display, Q2 now has a lowercase b in the flags column with an underline, and that tells me that I have auto blocks that are happening in Q2. If you have auto blocks in your show file, they certainly don't hurt anything if your show is playing fine, but if you want to clear them, there's a quick way to do that. We can say Q2 enter, and if we want to remove those auto blocks, we can say block enter, which will make the full queue a block, and then block enter again will remove the block, and that also takes all the auto blocks with it. There's another tool to clean auto blocks, and that is the auto block cleanup tool. And that allows you to clean up not only uh, a queue, but ranges of queues and individual channels. And there's more information on autoblock cleanup in the future videos of this series.